Hello again, this is Najib from Algeria. So in the last video we have seen how to schedule this this system uh, using earliest deadline first scheduling algorithm. In this video here I want to change the system a little bit just to see another example. Okay. So let's make for example the deadline here is 18 and let's make here Six. Okay. So here the period that's T1, the period is seven, so we mix at eighteen. Okay. So let's get started. So here the capacity six two two because that's a new period for all processes. So what what we must do? We just see the closer deadline. So we have this deadline. For T1, T3, and this, and this. So the closer is this. So we just ran one unit of time from T3. So it remains one because we ran one. And here from one here also we see the closer one. It remains T3. So we remain. Uh, we, we ran an other uh, unit of time. So it remains zero. Okay. So here we have just T2 and T1 because that's zero here. <clears throat> the closer between this and this is T2. So we ran one unit of time here. So it remains one. Here also, so the closer is this. So we ran T2 and we update. So it remains zero. Here we have just this. So that's the closer. So, and it remains 5. Here in this unit of time, 5, that's a new period, that's a top array here, uh, arrow here. Because that's a new, uh, a new period, we must reinitialize the, the capacity of T3. Okay, that's 2, so we reinitialize it here. 2, 2, okay. So, between this and this, between T3 and T1, the closer period, uh, deadline so we are in the unit of time 5 between this and this that's the closer we ran one unit of time so it remains one here also from 6 to 7 that's the closer we ran, we ran one unit of time it remains zero so in the unit of time 7 we have just this so we can run one unit of time here and it remains Four forty-one, and here also from uh, eight to nine, we can just uh, rent T one, so it remains three. Okay. Here also from nine to ten, we can uh, rent only T one, from nine to ten, and it remains two here. Here in this unit of time 10, so T1, uh, T2 and T3 are arrives. That's a new period for T2 and T, T, uh, T2 and T3. So we initialize, we re reinitialize this zero, 0 by 2 and this 0 by 2. Now the closer we have this deadline and this deadline and this deadline. The closer is this. We ran, we ran T3. So, and it remains 1. Uh, here also the closer is, is this deadline, closer than this and this. So, we ran also uh, T3. It remains 0. Here the closer between this and this, because that's 0. Okay, the, the closer, so the, they are equal. So, we just uh, choose one of them. Okay, that depends on your uh, strategy. So for me, in my example, I just check, uh, choose an arbitrary one of them. So let's, for example, choose T2. Uh, excuse me, it remains 1. Here, so this and this. So we choose this. So it remains 0. So now we have only T1. So we ran 1 units of time so 
it remains 1. And at, at this unit of time, the, the, there is a new period 43. So we initialize, re initialize this 0 by 2. Now the closer between this bit line and this bit line is this. That's the closer. So we ran it. Okay. So we ran it and it remains 0. So now we have just T3. So uh, from 16 to 17 and it remains 1. From 17 to 18, so we have only T3 is uh, ready, so we ran it, so, and it remains 0. From 18 to 19, there is no, uh, there is no uh, <coughs> process is ready from 19 to 18. So that's it. That's it. Uh, I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. And so, just uh, let me say try to try to to make this capacity equal 8 and schedule it you will notice that this system is not schedulable okay in the next video i will talk about the schedulability okay and of course if you want to see my code if you want to download my c code that implements the earliest deadline first you will check uh, descriptions below so that's it. I hope that you like this video and see you later.